Hey YouTubers, this is your boy Amari Points here bringing you the latest movie review. So today I'm doing my latest movie review on the newest Netflix original movie, Thunder Force. But before I forget, huge shout out to my good friend and bro, Rob Eastman, for sending me his shirt. I don't know if you can see it under the tag. Uh, again, thanks man, I appreciate the shirt and much love to you and hope... And God bless you and the rest of your family. He is a really good friend. And I appreciate that so much that he sent me this shirt. And along with a bunch of other ones. So let's move on to the movie review. This movie is basically about two childhood friends who finally uh, speak to each other after all these years. Played by Olivia Octavia Spencer and Melissa McCarthy. And I honestly gotta say, I did not enjoy this movie because... The comedy in this movie itself is kind of dim, but this uh, and it, this movie is also about how the two childhood friends got superpowers and how they got to how they honestly have to save the whole city of Chicago. But all in all, this movie was not something I really enjoyed. I am a huge fan of superhero movies, but this one did not really do it for me. I, uh, and this movie is uh, directed by Melissa McCarthy's husband, uh, Ben Fal uh, Falcone. And most, and I gotta say, I have nothing against him. Uh, forgive me, but this movie, I think he could have done better. He could have wrote the script a whole lot better and made it more funny. Melissa McCarthy herself, she was... She was, well, uh, interesting and somewhat kind of had an annoying character. I mean, I love Melissa McCarthy. I really do. She is a talented actress. But in this movie, she really kind of didn't have, like, a really supportive role. But I wish her, I wish they, that she could have improved on her character, Lydia, a little bit more. Because... Because honestly, I believe this this should this is a superhero slash comedy movie, and honestly, I believe that if she improved her character a little bit more, it would have been better. And the villains in here, uh, uh, Palm uh, uh, Clementoff, who we know, who we've seen in all like Avengers, Infinity War, and Endgame, and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, she re she really kind of she really kind of didn't really see kind of really wasn't villain material I like every time I heard her speak I always pictured in my head Mantis uh, because that's who she is but she needed some improvement too the hit, there were kind of some hit and miss stuff with the comedy that I think needed to be improved as well because well it was just not it was just not that big of a movie for me. I really thought this was going to be an interesting movie after I saw all of the previews for this movie. Because after seeing all the previews, I was really pumped. But after watching this movie, it kind of gave my hopes. It kind of gave my hopes up because I I don't know what I'm saying because of lie. Well, uh, forgive me. Uh, yeah, it kind of gave my hopes up, and I was not really pleased with how this movie turned out but all in all I loved how Melissa McCarthy and Octavia Spencer have pretty good chemistry in this movie and Jason Bateman as the crab uh he was pretty good Any, anything Jason Bateman does he really does improve improve and the king played by Bobby uh Cal Calvinine, uh, he, he really just didn't seem pretty villainous to me. He honestly seemed like one of those bland villains that really didn't have kind of like a motive except for killing people. That was just something that really didn't catch him, capture my interest whatsoever. And I wish he had, I wish he had really, really good motives. But instead, he turned out to be one of those uh, villains that 
really wasn't entertaining whatsoever. And what else I can say? This movie, you can legit skip. Save your, save your precious time watch, uh, not watching this Netflix movie because it's not worth the watch. Definitely skip this movie. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. Sorry, sorry to the rest of the cast. But honestly, I believe that this movie is just not worth watching. It, it needs some improvements. It really does. I think you could, you could just skip this movie and just watch something else on Netflix and, it, and just not really see this one. This is, again, not worth watching. It's not worth your time. And that's it for my rant. On next are the positives and negatives. Uh, first off, are the positives because uh, Jason Bateman, as a, again as the crab, he killed it in this role along with Octavia Spencer. These two definitely nailed their roles because Jason Bateman, he is he's funny, he's hilarious in this movie because him as the crab. Uh, whenever I saw his scenes in this movie. He was cracking me up. He was make he was cracking me up. It was just funny and pretty much enjoyable to watch. And Octavia Spencer as Emily, she was pretty good too. She really just seemed like the character who just wants to make a difference in the world, change lives and everything, and basically do a whole lot more and another positive is the fight scenes uh, that were shot late at night those definitely captured my interest and pretty much I was really in captivated by them and definitely definitely uh, enjoyed those type of scenes for sure and that's it for my positives on to the negatives it's a long list so bear with me Again, Melissa McCarthy's character, uh, Lydia, she really, uh, didn't really, she didn't really seem to, like, have a really interesting role. I know it's basically going back and forth with characters, but she really didn't have that much screen time with this movie. I love Melissa McCarthy, I really do, but this character, this, her character in this movie, didn't honestly do it for me she needed some improvement it could have been better if they gave her like more screen time in this movie instead of giving her less and palm uh and palm and palm uh clementoff she really just uh she really just didn't have any interest for me she didn't really have much kind of actionist as a villain I was really drawn away after seeing her on the screen because I just every time I hear her speak again I hear Mantis from Guardians of the Galaxy and the main villain the king played by Bobby he really again he really didn't do it for me either because I wish he could have had a better motive and honestly just been more villainous because Truth be told, he is not a good villain whatsoever. He just really didn't do it for me. Again, not worth this movie is not worth watching. Uh, save your time, watch something else on Netflix, and just enjoy. Just skip this movie. Just legit skip it. Don't watch anything else. Don't watch this movie. Skip it, guys. Don't watch it. And. That's it for my positives and negatives. On to the rating, guys. Sorry. I give Thunder Force a solid D. Because I didn't enjoy this movie. Ben Falcone. Ben Falcone, I think he needed to improve on this movie a whole lot more. A whole lot more. It just needed to be... It just needed to be improved just need to be improved some and it needs to have a better script and a better story for ev for everyone to be captivated and the villains in this movie kind of were bland and also Melissa McCarthy don't take this to heart I am a huge fan of you but I think you your characters just needed a little bit of improving uh somewhat and I just think it 
your character Lydia probably just needed more action scenes and more uh, on-screen time. That's just my opinion. And what else I can tell you is that, well, I did enjoy Octavia Spencer. She is a one heck of a woman. Excuse me for one moment. Yeah, that's better. Uh, she was one heck of a woman, and I think she is a, just one talented actress along with uh, Melissa McCarthy. Those two have good friendship chemistry, and I love this, and I love it in this movie. They show it a whole lot, and let me tell you, I really loved it. I loved it so much. And that's it for my movie review, guys. Don't forget to like, comment down below on what did you think of Thunder Force. Subscribe and share with everybody you know. And be sure to hit the notification bell at the bottom of my video to get notified when my next movie review is going to be. And be sure to follow me on the Stardust app at Amari106 for my latest movie slash trailer reaction. I will see you guys soon. Take care and God bless. Peace.